Hello, thank you for joining me. So in the last video, which is, uh, in this video, which is number six in a series in regard to uh, configurations, design tables, and equations which help us drive all of our configured parts. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get around uh, some uh, an error that's in here, and then we're going to play around with the design table one more time and have a little bit of fun with that. So if you remember in the last video, uh, we had uh, you know the variety of the configurations which uh, provided uh, those extra holes per the formula that we set up. But remember when we went to the 200 millimeter one, it really didn't like us as giving all these errors. And the problem with that is, is that uh, when you do the linear pattern, it's not going to allow you to just do one instance of a linear pattern. So it works just thinking like a WTF, like what are you, what are you doing? If, why do a, a linear pattern if you're not going to give me more than one value? So the way to get around that, and we're going to uh, make a manipulation and design table in order to accommodate that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to express a linear pattern for the 200 millimeter uh, feature only. So we're going to go to edit table. And uh, it automatically is assuming that we're going to add an additional value here. So let's do this. Let's go to the feature manager tree, go to linear pattern, and let's put that in there. So what it's doing is it's giving us uh, the opportunity to suppress it or unsuppress it. Starts out with the default one. Let's go ahead and suppress that by just typing in an S for that. And the two millimeter one, we want to go ahead and suppress that, and the rest of them we're going to make it unsuppressed. And I believe if we do that, if we click on the side over here, bang, no more errors. 200 millimeter, 300 millimeter, that should be okay. So you notice with all the other ones, if you go back to the future manager tree, the linear pattern is unsuppressed. It's active and ready to go. But if you go back to the configuration manager and go to the 200 millimeter one, the linear pattern is suppressed. So that's kind of cool. And one thing you'll notice too, we can also go in here and uh, uh, manipulate this too, and it's going to go ahead and make the corresponding change in the design table the next time we open it as it uh, makes mention. So. This is also an option to make modifications to your design table too, as I showed you before in some earlier videos. Alright, let's go back to the design table and have a little bit of fun with it. Let's go to edit feature, oop, edit table. And let's make more elements. You should be able to pick up these patterns. If, if so, we're going to be able to copy these all the way down. Let's see if we do this. Hmm. Well, that's a bummer. So let's do this. Let's do Control Z and get out of uh, some of those functions. Click off of the sign. Let's take our design tail and edit it in a new window. Okay, so that's okay. Now let's go ahead and uh, copy these functions down. So we have this 500, 600. Let's go ahead and copy a bunch of these down. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take out that MM because I think it'll follow the pattern if I don't have that MM in there. The same with this. We could always add that back in later. Now I believe we can copy these down. Now we can have the fun. Yep, there it goes. And let's just let's just let's just go crazy with this. Put a whole bunch of those in there. This uh, column is a little bit too narrow, so we're going to widen that out so we can actually see some of the values associated with it. If we want to add MM back in here, we can do that. I'm certain there's a macro that we can uh, design that uh, would uh, actually add that in. But we're not going to waste time doing that. Let's go ahead and click off to the side. And now they have the saved outside of uh, SolidWorks. Let's go ahead and save it and close it. It gives SolidWorks a chance to think about it. And these are all the configurations that it's going to come up with it for us. And some more. And yeah, now we can click on some really big values in here. One thing you'll notice that uh, it doesn't really put them in order. And we can uh, make a change to our design table in order to uh, accommodate that. So it does kind of jump around a little bit. You're going to have to use a text function for some of these. And when I talk about a text function, you want to make sure you put a zero, like in front of the 200, zero in front of the 300, and so on and so forth. And when you do that, it will go ahead and order those in the right uh, location. It assumes that if there's no number in front of it, that it's going to order uh, some of these values and some of the other ones. In other words, I'll take the 200 millimeter one and put it up there with the 2,000 millimeter one. It's 
So those were the ones generated, showing us the ones that are no longer in use. And now they're in a little bit better order. So we have 200, 300, 400, and so on up in the front, and then it goes on down from there. So let's go to the 3,000 one and 4,000 one, see what that looks like. Thinking, it's thinking. I mean, it's adding a lot of stuff into our industrial flute. And that is one silly part. But if you had a really neat part, and this is a good part to show in regard to how to put some of this stuff together, if you had a really useful part, I think you might find a lot of these functions to be beneficial. So thank you for joining me. We will see you in some other films.